Hello, hi. Welcome to my channel, Knitting Latvian. My name is Ingrida. And in this video, I will share my process of making an Ingrid sweater. Here I'm wearing it, there. Maybe you can see. There. <laughs> uh, yeah, just tag along and I will mm, tell how I made it, what struggles I had and yeah, uh, what I did during uh, the knitting time. But yeah, enjoy. Maybe knit along or at least uh, drink something uh, warm or cold, what, what you like. Okay. These are my colors for my new cast on the Ingrid sweater. And every Ingrid has to have uh, one Ingrid sweater, <laughs> at least. So I'm using uh, my uh, new board, uh, my yarn from Stash, Drops Daisy, in color. Uh, here we go. 06, or uh, the name of it uh, was um, Powder Pink. It's really light pink, like, like blushy, even. And I'm pairing it with the mohair strand from Lana Gatto, um, Mohair Royale, in color 1, 2, Nine to one. Uh, the daisy is a uh, yeah extra fine merino. Uh, one ball has around fifty grams and a hundred meters, and this one has um, the mohair has uh, twenty five grams per 215 meters and the contents of it 80 percent mohair and 20 percent nylon still i will describe it as a very soft one yeah for this mohair i like that the strand in the core doesn't stand out uh, like Silk strands uh, usually stand out. No, it, yes, it gives a, it some kind of a, no, additional effect, the silk thread. But this time it's not, no, not that noticeable. Yeah, I'm uh, ready to cast it on. Yeah, tag along. Yeah. My Kulkste is here with us. Enjoying the spring. And these are blooming now. In Latvian we call them pupoli. And some um, branches of uh, some kind of tree. I don't know what, what my husband picked up.
Okay, I have finished the first border detail. Yeah. Now I have to figure out how to make the sec uh, next part of it. Um, right now I have no idea. Start of the squares of the mock cable. Mm. I tried to, I didn't quite understand how to make it from the written description. Um, I had to look up for some video uh, instructions. Um, and one other thing was that my stitches are slanted uh, on the other way around. Yeah, um, so for the right increase, uh, I mean, for the right mock slant, I had to first um, change the direction of the stitches uh, and then I could knit, knit them. Yeah, <laughs> I ripped out uh, those th two rows like uh, already two times. <laughs> but at the end I I did it. Yay! Beautifully working along. And mock cables. I like how the braid sits on the uh, knit stitches. Just finished the left side of the shoulder and picked up new stitches for the right one. Uh, yeah, right now the sweater looks funny because I <laughs> I do everything on one needle set. Don't put the stitches on the separate uh, yarn piece of yarn or barber cord, cord I can do it with one needle set so finally I have just finished the uh, right shoulder part and in the next round I will, be, I will be joining both of the front shoulder parts together right here I will be making some increases then I'm working back and forth until I will uh, match the back. Yeah, here you see, you can see the back part. And then I will join in the round and continue on the body. Yay! Um, mm, uh, for the eyelet parts, I didn't quite uh, read the description. I... Uh, I <laughs> I thought I w I knew what I should do, so I started knitting, and uh, some some of these end parts didn't match somehow up symmetrically like I like it should, and uh, so I, I just had to rip out like four rows to match the, the pattern. <laughs> yeah, I tend to do that. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. I am done with the front part of the sweater. Now it's time to join in the round. Yeah, dog is sleeping right next to me. Yeah. Um, this is the f third ball of the drops daisy and second ball of the no hair.
this is how far I have gotten uh, during yesterday when we went to the road trip. I have done the body part, right? not, not all of this, but uh, the double moss stitch and the mock cables. During the mock cabling, um, there were some errors. Um, when I did the just the knitting row, uh, for um, I found that I had lost some st stitches uh, in a couple of times. I think one was here. I have I had to find them afterwards with the crochet hook. And there, there were several other times, um, but where the ends con, uh, I mean the rows connect. It, it came out pretty good. It's not noticeable where the row ends or starts. Yeah. So next up is. Uh, Two by two ribbing for some time here <laughs> and then the um, one by one ribbing. Okay, now I'm trying on the sweater. It has almost one arm done. Uh, I made the length of the body uh, as suggested. It didn't add any length to it uh, because I don't usually have to. And uh, for the arm, I have only uh, ribbing to be. I have to do only the ribbing. And it will add like six centimeters, and uh, I think it will be enough because the shoulder will drop, um, fabric will also stretch out and flatten. I think it will be okay. So, medium size here is my progress this far. I still have to do the other hand and the ribbing, oh, yeah, uh, the ribbing of the first arm. That will that will add around six centimeters. So the modifications I have done is the neckage. I knew that I didn't want a turtleneck as the pattern suggested, so I did the double. I uh, folded the uh, one by one ribbing neckage and it came out wonderful. Uh, the only thing, it still fits, everything is fine. Um, it's perfect. Um, I When I picked up the six stitches um, right here, I pick one by one, uh, one stitch for every one stitch. Also, I do the same here, but around the, these parts, uh, I picked up uh, two and uh, excluding one, like uh, picking up two per every three stitches. Yeah? Uh, uh, it, in, the, in the round when I picked, it, picked them up, um, there weren't like 120 as were suggested, but 108. But it still uh, fits over my head. Also, when, when I will block them out, I think they will be okay. Um, moving on to the arm. Um, yeah, here are the um, German short rows. Uh, to gain the slope, um, 
the, I was doing a German short short rows. Again, uh, with a little modification. I don't want to cut any yarn and then afterwards sew in any ends. So I just uh, modified the, the technique a little bit so I don't have to cut anything. Uh, so, no, yeah. Right now, the two by two ribbing uh, shrinks in a little bit uh, in arms and also on the body. <laughs> it looks a little bit funny, but uh, it will block out. And the only problem that I had was again the mock cable part uh, because you have to decrease um, uh, for the arm to be more tapered. Uh, you decrease every rows that pattern says, but that includes this part. For here, it was okay to de decrease uh, in the middle of it. Uh, yeah, here you can see the decrease part. It doesn't stand out that much, but in here, it messes up the pattern and um, and here I uh, couldn't make the cro crisscross because there was a decreasing a per a decreasing stitch I couldn't cross it and so I lost this one leg um, and yeah the pattern like messed up a little bit but stitch count still is uh, the same but that is under the arm that's going to be between the uh, arm and my body uh, that shouldn't be that noticeable but still there could have been better um, calculations for that or maybe for the decreasing part just skip here but that would mean that you can decrease only in the moss stitch because um, in 2 by 2 ribbing also it would, look, it would look weird but not as bad maybe on the, as a, on the moss the mock cable part but yeah, I have heard that uh, with the, uh, in the Singrid sweater and also with the storm sweater uh, and people who knit knit the arms they're a little bit confused with the arm decreases to because if you make something and spend so much time on it you want the cables and the, the, um, the pattern to match up more but still I'm very proud of it yeah one one arm and one cuff left. <laughs> I just finished the last ribbing on the on the arm, casted it off in tubular bind up met method. Oh, just okay. 
I just finished the sweater. Yeah, this is how it looks. Beautiful, very squishy, fluffy, uh, love the color. Uh, now it will be time, uh, now it's gonna be turn to block it. So, uh, what I have left over, I had bought 11 balls of Drops Daisy. And uh, this is the last ball, and I have 40 grams left here. And in this 11th, from the 11th ball. And uh, no hair. Uh, this is the sixth ball. And I have left 20 grams in here. So I used 5 grams from mohair and 10 grams from daisy. From the last um, um, last last balls of yarn. The sweater is done. I started it knitting, uh, started it on the 26th of March and, and today is the evening of the 5th of uh, April so I will calculate how much days it uh, was yeah uh, bear in mind I do work full-time job I knit in the after in the evenings after my work uh, that that would take like yeah three hours <laughs> per day and uh, on my free days, of course, I need a little bit more. Um, yeah, because I really enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy this um, pattern, the different uh, stitches you need to use. Uh, yeah. Also, the the material was really enjoyable. I'm gonna block it this evening. So uh, it can dry during this Saturday, tomorrow, and on Sunday, it will be my birthday on the 7th, and then I can wear it when I visit my parents, and I will meet my siblings, and we'll have a little party. Okay, here I am done with my sweater. I'm very proud of it looks as I intended uh, yeah I blocked it wa washed it and blocked it uh, and the uh, yarn like uh, flapped, fluffed up and uh, became a little bit bulkier but still the sweater is very warm nice and I got lots of compliments already on it thank you for watching and we'll see you on another video bye